Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today, we are going to talk about special months in the United States and celebrating those months. Um, and we're, we're going to go over a question I received. This video will be sent to the person who sent the message um, ahead of time before it publishes to make sure I don't say anything I'm not supposed to uh, and to make sure that they get it in time. I have a feeling other people may be dealing with similar questions over the next month or so, so it still feels like it should be a video. Okay, so here's the message. My dad just went off on Pride Month saying there's no way, quote, the gays should get a month when veterans only get a day. My dad thinks I'm a tomboy and has no idea I'm one of, quote, the gays. So I have to be creative when talking to him about this stuff. I need a response to this and don't know what to say. Okay, so you have one day to do this. Walk up to him and say, Happy Military Appreciation Month. It's May. May. The, the military does have an entire month. It's May. <laughs> it's the month we're in. Now, uh, just so you know, this isn't your dad talking. And for anybody else who's going to hear this over the next month because of the coming recognition, um, understand this is your dad, your uncle, whoever, parroting something that they heard online, a, a meme that they saw. But it gives you an opportunity to actually kind of inject maybe a little bit of common sense to the conversation. Uh, what happened was this went out on Twitter and then it made it to Facebook. People saying that this was the case, that the military only got a day, the veterans only got a day. I would point out that even excluding Military Appreciation Month, veterans, people in the military, get Memorial Day, Armed Forces Day, and Veterans Day. And then they also get Military Appreciation Month. Since most of you, or at least a large portion of you, know who Big Red Kelt is, I'm going to read his response. Um, Conservatives love to ignore veteran issues while simultaneously using us as a prop for... I'm going to clean this up. I just... yeah. Um, as I go through this, just fill in any changes with something that a combat vet might say. Conservatives love to ignore veteran issues while simultaneously using us as a prop for their stuff. May is Military Appreciation Month. If you post something like this today... Go have fun with yourself, signed a combat veteran. Uh, this really circulated a lot on Memorial Day, which is like the way wrong time uh, for something like this as far as actually reaching out to the military community. Not a good day to politicize, just saying. Um, so once you make this point, if this goes out in May, and you see this video in May, and, and you run into this, you know, just say, hey, happy Military Pre Appreciation Month. If you don't have that opportunity, or it happens next month, which is when I imagine it's going to uh, circulate a lot, that's the moment to ask them, who told them that veterans, that the military didn't have a month? And then ask why they would ever believe them again. This is an obvious ploy. They're asking for something that already exists, which means they really don't care. If they cared, they would already know it happens, that it's a thing. It's obviously a way to play people, to manipulate them. And if this is a person who your dad, uncle, whoever, looks up to, maybe they shouldn't. And maybe pointing out that they're literally using veterans as a prop, it might upset them. It might be one of those things that helps erode confidence in that source, a source that is 
actively misleading them. So while it's going to obviously not be great to hear it, um, there's an opportunity to try to reach them. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.